2016. It's our first time here in the city. My name is Anna Yukiko Bickenbach, and I have the pleasure to show to you what's happening in the background. We're now in one of our breaks, and we had a great session, 50 speakers with 36 startups. And we're taking you along the ride and having you experience what we did today. So we hope you enjoy what you get to see shortly. You opened up your presentation kind of telling the audience more about your personal story and how you got involved in clean tech or your passion for clean tech. And yeah. that would be great if you could share that with our viewers too. Yeah, so because you know, I recently get some questions, you know, on you know, is Shell really serious about the energy transition, and can't you guys do much faster in the energy transition? And uh, I just wanted to share a bit of you know personal on that a lot of people in Shell are really passionate about the environment. So, and I, I mentioned my period between I left Philips Electronics and joined a, a startup. You, what you do is travel, so I traveled through Central America. I saw a lot of destruction, you know, of the of the tropical rainforest. Um, the uh, you know a lot of banana plantations, except for a portion in um, in Costa Rica, uh, Corcovado. You know, beautiful, pristine uh, primary rainforest. Before I uh, got back, or actually in parallel with my uh, work at, at the startup, I developed this initiative called Niets doen maakt schuld. Right. So if you're not acting, you're guilty had a plan to collect uh, funds from the public uh, to buy up rainforest and then protect it. So then in 2002, so some time ago, a uh, Dutch politician was uh, you know, killed by an environmental activist. And so the naming and shaming was not really you know, the thing to do, I mean, if ever. The initiative you know, died away a bit. You know, as part of Shell, you know, we invested, for example, in a company called uh, Glasspoint Solar which we found back in 2011, was my first investment. We helped them land a, a large pilot project in, uh, in Oman, one of our assets, which basically needs to burn gas to produce steam. And uh, we now have helped them to land a large, several hundred million dollar project to build a, uh, basically the largest solar steam uh, project uh, in the world for the, with a peak capacity of uh, one gigawatt solar thermal. We're trying to find our way in the energy transition and the Eco Summit is just a great place to meet you know partners, uh, entrepreneurs with great ideas that can help us uh, find that uh, pathway. something that you're looking forward to that Eco Summit can maybe bring to you in the future in terms of an Amsterdam event? Well, I think it's good to, that you branch out also to other territories uh, beyond Berlin and London, which obviously are big, uh, big uh, uh, cities where a lot of things are happening. But the Dutch Benelux market is, I think, equally important uh, to, uh, to develop from. It's easy to reach, particularly for us, but also for people that visit. Um, and, uh, and therefore, I think this is a great location for Eco Summit to, uh, to continue to come back to and to, uh, to grow. Well, without money, we cannot do our work. Eh? We need a commitment from, uh, from parties that believe that what we are doing and how we do investments in the area of smart energy solutions, that we can deploy that. And it's very great to have uh, you know, a pool of 60 million, the close to 60 million, to work with. And uh, we already have done four investments in that, with that money, so we're now we're adding to that in the next uh, uh, 12 to 24 months. We always look at companies that do something in the energy sector that, that, that work towards, that impact the, the transition that in the energy sector is going through. Um, that way we did from the start and that we will continue to do. What has sharpened a little bit uh, more now in the last uh, couple of years is that we have our priority of investments done in smart energy solutions. So, so where software and service models um, uh, are incorporated in the business model. <laughs> <laughs> 